there's there's the umbrella, and I've got to I've got to keep this from getting wet. That's why it's seized up. We're going just up that away. But we're going to take you over maybe to where you can stand under cover if you want. Okay. I'd like us to, I don't know, we do something for a few minutes. They're going to do R2 at 1.30, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have an office there. Oh, I hope, I hope so. Yeah. It's gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because when I let go of the string, you gotta push it onto the string under the beat. Right? We all have one beat. I have two, so just ignore my red one. you say? If you do, the most annoying thing happens, you go like this, you turn really back, you go like that. Uh -huh. And it gets really frustrating. Keep your hook nice and tight. Your arm always comes tight. Oh, does it? Oh, okay. So every time you go back, your finger comes to the corner of your smile. Right? You pull back, finger comes to the corner of your mouth. Every time you stop at the same spot, that means you're pulling the string the same distance. The further back you pull the arrow, the more power you get, the higher the arrow goes. The less you pull, the lower it goes. If you're pulling it different every time, your arrow's landing on the target, you never know where it's going to go. You are pulling the same every time, and you're right, you're right, and the trick is to make the same place that it keeps landing, the middle of the target. <laughs> You put your arm guard on your left arm, but I said you were a left. Your left eye, though. I told you. You don't get an eye test in here. And then you guys can attack it. Okay? All right. And then you, so when when the young guy's done, you're gonna so you're gonna stand here, you're gonna shoot here. So when he's done, because he's got a smaller bow, you can't use it, he'll put his bow down and he'll up with your bow. Okay. Okay? Um, <laughs> 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 
Yeah, but they're both up. Yeah, but then what happens when you become one? <laughs> yeah. My wife says she's going to put me in the home. Lorelai said, I'm going to put you in the home just like that. <laughs> that's, what I, I, that's what I worry about because my son keeps you off and off and says, don't forget that I get to pick the home. <laughs> that scares me. Are you going to come eat? Yes, yes, there's Pearl and There's a food workshop happening in 10 minutes. Oh, no, no, no. We got a little uh, food picks here. Oh, yeah? No, you don't have time to carve a spoon. Oh. Oh, did you get Jim out here? Everybody? Yeah? Did he come out here? Yeah. Hi. I'll share with you. Ah, that's pretty good. Careful. That may help you too. There you go, but I think that's what she okay. was. Just because so they're just where we were. So just down there, and we'll find a seat. You know, to eat at certain times. Check that out. Yeah. 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 So. Oh yeah, because they're doing Quantlin's coffee here too. Now, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So not this one. Just down with another one. Let's hope to goodness they aren't none. Look, you're walking downhill. Yeah? Okay. How the fire smells good, doesn't it? Or, or do this, it bother you, the smells? Mm. Oh, okay. There, I can hear them, I can hear them. Three oh, this minutes. Is, yeah, yeah. Three minutes. No, somewhere. Spoons watch up in three minutes. Alright, that's all the yelling I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like big energy, like, you can try. Alright. Alright, let's keep off. I'm originally from Ottawa, but I've been in Vancouver for 30 years now with an eight year stint in Calgary in between. I am French Canadian, I'm not Métis, but I've been invited to this festival now for almost a decade, which is lovely. Uh, it's always an honor to be part of this. And uh, I'm here to teach you how to play the spoons, how to do a few more things and to learn a bit about French Canadian folklore. Uh, Métis can be both uh, half uh, from, uh, from uh, uh, a French Canadian father, for example, and a native mother, or a, a Scottish or English father, usually, uh, as well, right? So they, they, it applies to both. Now, can anyone tell me what it is that I'm wearing here that some of you have around your necks, yeah? Sash. It's a sash. Well, what kind of a sash is it? Is that exactly. what it's so called? every Scottish and English is called a sash. Right? And in Canada, Canada, yes, that's the whole sash. The Catholic Church. The Catholic Church. Five, that's that's because uh, my region. Uh, the region so around the Catholic Church, which is where my from family from from is from, yeah, from the social the Jewish culture. That area is called the Assumption and Women. The Assumption. So the sash is the main area that is called Assumption Sashes. In this is the one of a family, the region where a family called Chigny lives, lived, really. And this is the one from Acadia, right? New, New, New Newfoundland, Newfoundland, yeah. sorry, yeah, Nova Scotia, New England. This, 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 this is a French hand with the yellow star, right? Stash. Now, All right, so it's made, who has long hair here? You braid your hair sometimes? How long does it take you to braid your hair? Two minutes. Well, uh, so this is hand braided, just similar way to the way you braid your hair. But it took the lady who made this sash for me back in the 1970s 70 hours to braid this sash. All right. Uh, and so, who were those those braiders of sashes? The Hudson's Bay Company uh, wanted to sell sashes like these. And French Canadians also wanted them. So during the winter, the Hudson's Bay Company would hire entire villages in the West 
the during the winter season, because it's the down season when we're farmers, so that's the quiet time. They right? were you certainly not the same. They were getting in. You're going to get the sample. The for the you south. would be English. the farmers who were there who were going to make these belts. All right? All right? So when the French Canadians came here for the fur trade, they were always called the Canadiens. I'll never forget when my oldest brother got married in the 70s, my last great aunt asked me in French, this is 1970s, is he married in Canadian or in Anglais? <laughs> right, how things have changed, right? Um, so what do we have today that's Canadian? Montreal. Montreal, so it's the Montreal what? Canadians. Say, say it out loud. Canadians. Canadians. Why is it not the Canadians? Ever wonder that? Because they were French Canadian. Montreal had two teams. There's a French Canadian one and the English Canadian, Canadian one. And the yeah. French Canadian okay. one was called. So the first thing is that you're saying that we're French Canadian. 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 The basic one is three part. It is one, two, three, one, two, three. Try. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? Okay? You're not going to do the same thing as everybody. You are a person that's a lot of things different. And that's what everybody did. Right? So you, you can do something like... Right? 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 Okay. So I'm going to put some music on. We're at the soirée. St. Sophie has just arrived. Are you ready? Okay? Are you ready? Did you put out the spread? Yes? Okay? I want to see your best hands. Okay? All right. And we, uh, uh, Zivina, are you ready? All right, let's stop. Okay. Open, close. There we go. Ah, Else, it's called traveling. And you start on one thigh, but you end on the other. 
And it's like this. Join in whenever you're ready. And it's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Go for it. One, two, three. 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 Ah. Okay, here we go. Playing spoons. He's playing spoons. Yeah, and look at how wet it is. It's just look at the water bit on it. Okay, well, what do you want to do? Shall we go? We'll go that away. We can do. Okay, let's let's get you walking that away. Oh yeah, they've got a group coming in, so it's just going to get crazy at that point. Unless he's in there. You want to go in? Well, we could. What are they doing? Oh, that's that he's carving. Here, I'm just gonna take a couple. Just go ahead, it's okay. I'm just okay. I've actually had vertigo for the past three days. Ha have you? Is that what's going on? Like, so it's feeling what dizzy? Yeah. Okay. Well, that has. That you're gonna find it's worse with, with the oxygen. Will do that. Hey. hey. You too. I think we're going to need to go to the bathroom. We've got to put that in belly down and shake it out, too. Yep. Okay? Very soon, anyway. Yeah. So. Oh, goodness. it's I'm soaking wet, and I need to move that shirt and a few other things. And <clears throat> a lot, a lot, a lot on. Oh, my goodness. What? What? Oh, I saw something shiny. Yes, yeah, so there's like, some really incredible yeah. people there. What did you just say? I just fished with that man fish. <laughs> You, you did, didn't you? Yeah, I bet yeah, you did. Yeah. I did. Well, when you said musky, what was really bizarre was a His eyes went peak. No, so did mine. You know how long it's been since I've heard that word? Like, holy mackerel. Oops, holy mackerel, no jokes intended. I don't uh, know. There's you no know, mackerel in there. Well, no, I know, but you know, it, I don't know. It was it was good. That's good medicine to me. I used to fish with pesky. Pesky. <laughs> you see, you used, you, yeah, you can't even say the call them names and the names say the names anymore. 
There's two. There's two one for walleyes. There's your walleye pike. I don't muskies. need irony with what we're talking about in the sense of being. Yeah, not, not, yeah, there is an irony in it. It is strange that what has They're gone cool. on over there, and I'm right now over here supposedly castigating, and I'm off at a celebration. Yep. It, it, if, you know, like if I was down and watching it, I would say, boy, there's a lot of strange stuff. What were you saying? I, I really I, enjoyed that. I really did. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I know I didn't get everywhere, and I didn't go everywhere with you, but I really had a good time. Okay. I'm, I'm glad you went. Yeah, me too. not being hugged by a Hudson's Bay coat. <laughs> coat, I know, and you... Is, it, is this Larry? No, no, no. Well, I don't know. I'm not so serious. It's rounder than Larry. Get the shutters go to him. That's good. It's near their age, probably all of us. So that's that's wet, and I didn't even think I got the lens wet. But I guess it was wet enough there anyway. 